Guys, today we're going to review this lunch CRT 5011E TPMS activation and diagnostic tool. Uh, I bought this tool off of Amazon and I was presently surprised that this tool is actually an OBD1 and OBD2 scanner also. Uh, so it reads codes, uh, race codes and all that and plus it does the uh, TPMS uh, tire sensors on all vehicles that has that sensor in their tires. What comes in the box is a the actual tool, a little carrying case for the actual tool, the instructions and some charging, uh, different charging for different countries, uh, the actual plug that you plug into uh, your uh, your truck, car, whatever, to be able to read codes and the actual charging cable. So looking at this tool uh, it's, it's very simple. It doesn't look like it's very difficult to use it and uh, I haven't used it yet So let's go out in my truck and see if we can Read any codes or and see how it works. All right. We have my truck. This is a 2007 Chevy Suburban It's a 1500. It has the 53 in it And uh, We're gonna See if we can Plug the tool up in the diagnostic port. And that is my uh, air shocks airing up. Okay, this is what we have on the screen. So we want to go into the OBD settings uh, just use the actual key the move arrows to move the actual stuff on the screen here and hit OK and as you can see on the screen it says we have no DOT DOTs <laughs> DTS's I'm sorry uh, but we want to go back out and uh, see what else is on the screen here. So we can actually read codes, erase codes. Uh, we can look at live data, uh, freeze frame data, and we can even look at the old uh, the old two sensors. Uh, it does have onboard monitoring. Uh, you can actually do the EVAP system test. And uh, it should kind of ID the vehicle information also. So let's click on that and see if it, if it uh, IDs the actual vehicle. Yes, yeah, it gives them the VIN number and everything of the vehicle. So that's a plus. Okay, let's try to relearn procedures for the tire pressure sensors. So we hit the uh, relearn, hit OK, and I found out that the first procedure is not according to my truck. Uh, right here is where I want to see with the models equipped with the DIC. Uh, it says it's the tire pressure according to the place card. Turn the engine on. Let's do that. We turn the engine on and uh, we want to lower the driver's side window. Okay, we let the window down. Now it says uh, press the vehicle information located to the left or right, depending on what vehicle you have, repeatedly to the learn pressure tire sensor displays and then press the check mark button. Okay, that is right here. This is the vehicle information uh, buttons. Uh, we're going to press that until we get to the tire pressure relearn procedure. And then we're going to hit the check mark. And 
and now we want to uh, use the lunch scan to scan each sensor in the following order left front right front right rear and left rear okay let's do that then it says um, the horn will sound after receiving the signal of the sensors of each tire scan then we can turn it off okay so we're going to go back to the actual check sensor and we're going to hit OK on that then we're going to press the trigger button so my truck is learning these positions of the sensors again and we're going to hit the trigger again so the truck is telling you that he's receiving the actual information Okay, so my truck has relearned the positions of the uh, sensors, and uh, we should be good to go on that. So we can exit out of that, and we can pretty much, uh, pretty much that's it. Uh, that's that's the reason I bought this tool because uh, I do work on cars for different people. And my aunt's car had a uh, tire pressure uh, light on her uh, 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And it just stayed on. Sometimes it would go off. Sometimes it would stay on. So I bought this tool to try to figure out why that light is on. But uh, like I said, it's good for any car that has or any truck that has the sensors. And that's a, that's a good thing to know because if... Say for instance, your, when it comes up with the tire pressure, you don't know what tire is actually what if you don't have them in the right position. So uh, that helps out a lot. So guys, I believe that's it. And uh, I think this is a good tool. Uh, it, it, it's it's cost worthy. You know, it's not too expensive. Uh, just a nice tool to have. And plus, if you need a scanner, uh, this is a scanner also so it, it does a lot of stuff that that uh, that you would need so make sure you go out and get you one